here's my definition of sport. You ready? Uh oh, here we go. Would you possibly find it etched on the side of a Grecian urn? Oh, come on, man. That means nothing is <laughs> a sport. You can't just know. say it. Come on. I'm a little biased because I used to wrestle. I was about to say, from a, this is coming from a wrestler. So. What's on the side of a Greek urn? Wrestling, pouring wine. So we're going to call <laughs> that some, some of them. <laughs> and discus, the discus throw. Discus, can't forget yeah. the discus. And ja- the javelin throw is on the side of yeah. a Grecian urn as well. So basically, right. you know, if you're if it's not in the ancient Olympics, it's not a sport. You, judging by what you just said, Neil, you would have to wrestle naked and covered in olive oil. <laughs> covered in <laughs> olive oil and naked. <laughs> wait, 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 the olive oil was that? Is that in the rules? Yeah, that the, yeah, yeah, that's they used to do oh, that yeah. so that to keep yeah. to keep your opponent from being able to get a good grip on you. Oh man! And also, back in the back in the ancient times, they had so much olive oil to spare. They just <laughs> muttered rescues yeah, in it. They had oh. they hadn't discovered it for salads yet. <laughs> 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 and that's what that's where the set the wrestling oil wrestlers where they're saying get a grip get a grip from, right, or, get right? A grip. okay here, here's another definition i'll, I'll right. put forth um if you are at the top of your game mm-hmm. you have to sweat Ooh. but if you if, if performing your sport you don't break out in a sweat it's not a sport okay oh, let, so let, then we have is it a pastime See, but now baseball is called the American pastime. Yeah. So is it does that negate it from being a sport now? No, no, I'm no, I'm saying I'm saying that not everyone at all times sweats in baseball. That, that's true. But if you're running around the bases or you're running to catch a fly ball or you're out there in the heat, then you'll sweat. Okay, that's and true. So I'm good with baseball. Okay, now now I just ask this. I'm not disagreeing or agreeing. I'm just asking. What if you're a really fat guy who bowls and you just sweat sitting no, there? Stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> so you, you do, just physiologically, that's what your body is. That's just what do. you do. You're just sitting there like like when you go use the little hand blower thing, it's, mm-hmm. it's not so that you can put your fingers in the hole. It's because <laughs> that is just air conditioning to you. Just like, oh, God, I'm so... I'm so okay. hot and fat. That's that's got to be. We got to figure out where that would be in the <laughs> rule book of exceptions. Exactly. <laughs> oh, God, how about this? How about this? Oh. Um, you know the origin of Gatorade, right? And the yeah. Florida Gators. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, they researched what minerals you lost while you sweat, and put those minerals in a drink that you drink, and then restore them. If there's a sport where those who are competing are not compelled to replenish their electrolytes. Mm. It's not a sport. Okay, okay. How about that? How, how about, about that? how about this? And I'm not going to disagree or, or agree, but I am just going to ask this. Suppose I play my sports very hungover, and I need to replace those electrolytes, so I do need Chuck, the Gatorade. Chuck, <laughs> Chuck, <laughs> Gary, Chuck Chuck needs to write the book of exceptions. <laughs> yeah, and it could be a long one. I mean, I just think darts is another one where you won't need to replenish lost minerals and electrolytes. <laughs> yeah. But people will tell you it's a sport because it has strategy and it has a definite technique and a certain element of artistry to it. So does checkers. That doesn't make it a sport. That's true. You see, so now we can get down to it. Is it, is it something where you can just wear everyday clothing? Is fishing now a pastime Ooh. or is it a sport? Yeah, can fishing is a pastime. No, everyday no. Okay, so now let look at this, though. Fishing, hunting. I'm going to say. I'm going to say fishing. If you are trout fishing, that's a pastime. If yeah. you are sail fishing, that's a sport. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm, okay. You know what I mean? Because okay. you want to talk. Yeah. You want to talk about something that is rigorous and difficult, involves strategy. Those. Those fish are a little bit smarter than people give them credit for. They know how to okay. s- steal stuff off the hook and everything. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> well, let me Where nibble over here. Going? Here's the hook. Let me not. Right. But, but apparently, there must be a lot of stupid fish because they all come up with the hook in it. <laughs> and but but 
<laughs> Here's something I've said before, but now we have fresh context because we're asking, is it a sport? I think the Olympics should be divided into those events where you can set a world record and those where you can't. And anything where you can set a world record gets an automatic entry into the sports rules. Oh, well, that makes sense because now you're you're looking mostly at time trial type events. So that's track and field. Yeah, you're yeah, looking at distance measurements, speed, anything speed, distance. speed distance and, and, and weight, time, and time and weight. Yeah. So that's that makes sense, you know, because mm-hmm. then all the all the eight point five, the Russian judge gives it all those. That's got to go now. <laughs> That's not the Cold War. Right. Nobody <laughs> cares. Anymore. Nobody cares what you think. Okay. Well, okay. So here we are. <laughs> what do you think? Sports shouldn't be the subject. It shouldn't be so, whether you win a sport should not be the product of someone's opinion. That's it. Yeah. That's that's go. it. So call well, it some call it entertainment. After yeah. That. We've got gymnastics and ice dancing. Yeah. I mean, I mean we we know the the science in ice dancing is immense. But name me, I mean, outside of those two, gymnastics and ice dancing, where artistic interpretation. Oh, ribbon dancing. Becomes, and, well, I'll put that into gymnastics. Okay. And what's the underwater thing? What's the underwater? Uh, uh, synchronized swimming. Synchronized swimming. swimming. Right. Okay, here we do it. Here we, here's how we do it. I've got, okay. to call, I've got to call those as sports because I've been educated to, to, learn, to know better now. Look, here's how we do it, okay? Uh, and I have firsthand experience with this with regard to Pluto. Uh oh! <laughs> Many people want Pluto to be a planet because it's round, and the official definition of a planet has three criteria. You can pass one or two of them, but if you don't pass all three, you're not a planet. Mm-hmm. Okay. So one of them is it large enough for its gravity to shape it to be round? Pluto has it. Is it orbiting a star? Pluto has it. Is there other stuff orbiting with you that rivals your size? If there is, you're not a planet because you don't dominate your orbital zone. So three. So let us make three criteria. One of them is you are prone to break out into a sweat where you might need to replace your electrolytes okay. if you're performing at the highest levels. Okay. okay. How about that? That's one. What are we going to add to that? You um, can't be done in street clothes. In street clothes. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> you can't really do it in street clothes and still attend a meeting afterwards in those yeah. same clothes. Mm-hmm. I, I like that. Okay. And how about one? Your This relates to the sweat, I think. you If you can do it without your heartbeat going rising. Right. To a, to a, but it has to be to a, go to a level beyond a brisk walk. <laughs> because there are a lot of people, your heart rate goes up, you know, if you just take a nice little walk. So- by those three definitions, golf is not a sport. It's just entertainment for people who like slow things. Oh, um, you're going to get some blowback for that. I don't know, I'm man. I'm with them on this one. I, I'm All you golfers out there, I'm sorry. They don't even carry their own damn clothes. That's what I'm saying. How lazy are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. How are you going to get in a car and go from hole to hole, and then you got somebody else carrying your clubs? Come on. If your sport started out with black people doing the hard work for you, that ain't a sport. No, it's not. That's right. <laughs> and, and <laughs> Bagger Vance. <laughs> Bagger Vance. <laughs> okay, so it, it doesn't take out table tennis, though. Table tennis, they work hard and they, they certainly get that stuff out. But darts, tiddlywinks, no. marbles, um, esports, not doing it. Although, no, I'm going to say yes to all those. No, as as in, yes, I agree, no to all of those. Mm-hmm. However, I must say that marble racing is absolutely captivating. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Happy to wow. hear that, Chuck. It really is. <laughs> can, can you tell that there is no sports on TV right now that I actually watched marble <laughs> racing? <laughs> There actually is marble racing. That's just not a figment of your imagination. No, no, I'm serious, man. There's no. He was half asleep, Gary, when he saw this. Wait, so uh, and and also curling, I think, would get in because there's a lot of movement. They got to like skate up and down. I think we'll give curling. Brushing the ice. That's yeah. That's gonna. I love brushing curling. the ice. I love curling. It's got to be a sport. But, By the but way, could, but that's, wait, wait, that's wait, a wait, lot of that's a, wait, you work up a sweat when you're doing wait, the broom. Wait, wait. But you you can pro, you can probably do curling in janitor's outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Special the sweepers. Okay, you need special, sh- you need special shoes, knee pads. So that that allows them. Uh, 
regal room to get out of street clothing. Yeah, well, no, no, but no, no. So, but they're right. But so they have clothing of a a full up janitor who would have knee pads and mm-hmm. and thing. All right, all right. We got to close this down. Right. <laughs> <We've>, <laughs> we should maybe we can revisit this. Uh, yeah, reconvene. Well, we we still have a lot of sports that we haven't really dwelt, delved into, but you know, uh, we'll 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 get there. But I still think the first cut is would the Greeks have put you on the side of an urn? I got it. I've got it. I'm sticking with that. Uh, I got a <laughs> I got a glass with Tiger Woods on it. Does that count? <laughs> no. This is Star Talk Sports Edition, uh, a specially tuned argument <laughs> about mm-hmm. what is sports and what isn't. Until next time, keep looking up.